you know, the teabaggers, uh, they all are showing up to vote Republican. But the left is not taking it seriously. They were, you, you should be ashamed of yourselves. So that's, uh, that's pretty much it. I just want to say greetings to my near dear friend in Osaka, Japan, Miho. Hello, Miho. And greetings to all my Facebook group administrators. All of them, like uh, Sash Boyle, Anthony Laura, uh, you know, uh, um, uh, Paul Neef, um, uh, Mick Von Raven, uh, that's all I can remember. Yeah. I think that's all I have. I mean, the ones that stand out are usually the ones that participate. You know, you got to be proactive to be one of my administrators. And, 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 you know, these guys are, some are more proactive than others. I would say Sash Boyle, Anthony Laura, and Paul Neef, German gentleman from uh, Illinois, are extremely proactive. And I thank them very much for their uh, contributions uh, to the group. All right. Let us now. Oh, before we, before we uh, begin, everything that we discuss politically on this show is part of our series "Capitalism in a Conch Shell." There's the conch. All right. Hey, conchy, conchy. Now seven bells for the conch. Man, that bell sounds great. All right. We'll, we'll sink our teeth into these readings now. The acrobatic skydiving osprey. We're starting off with something a little. Yeah, you did that last week. That, well, and, you know, and, and we ended up being a, a real rough show. Contrast. Jesus. Once down to a mere fifty or so pairs. The osprey. In New Jersey. Yeah. In the early 1970s, continues to make a dramatic rebound. In New Jersey with close to 600 pairs here last summer. The big fish hawk, which builds nests 10 feet deep. Not a chicken hawk like from Foghorn Leghorn. No, this is the fish hawk. It's a fish hawk. Had been devastated in the 50s and 60s by loss of habitat and pesticide contamination. Its recovery is an indication that the coastal and tidal waters of New Jersey that provide its fish-based diet are getting cleaner. Oh yeah, they are because... No thanks to Governor Christie. But the oyster beds are being replanted Ooh. in the Hudson Bay area, you know, the, where New York Harbor is. Mm -hmm. in that, you know, entering the Hudson River. Yeah, the oyster beds are being reseeded. Yes, this is, hey, it ain't, this is because of democratic, progressive politicians uh -huh. that you have all this environmental protection laws now, not the Republicans. Well, they, uh, Mr. Trump is going to get away, do away with EPA. Oh, he don't, well, they don't want, they don't want regulations. Even Chris Christie said it when he was standing yeah. behind Trump. We got to get rid of the regulations. Of course. So, in other words, it's profit before the planet and people. Correct. But if you don't have a... But, and ospreys. But don't they understand they, all these rich, greedy scumbags live on the planet Earth? <laughs> so it's their planet Earth, too, and they have to breathe the air, and they have to, uh, you know... Uh, it's like asking a smoker, do you understand what you're doing to your body? It's the same thing with somebody who's who I was talking to uh, recently, who is obese and addicted to sugar, same and thing. crying about their health, my health, my health. See? And when you try to help him, he just gives me a dirty look and a smirk, like a like a like a laugh, like uh, yeah, you, you why you you bothering me now? Hey man, you're crying on my shoulder. Uh -huh. Expect the answers to your problems. Oh, Otherwise, get the fuck away from me. You know? Yeah, that's like a lot of women when they come with a problem and ba ba ba. They don't really want you to go into it and help them, is it? They just want to you to feel sorry for them. I got an itch in the middle of my forehead. You know? Hey, 
I'm not Richard Simmons, obviously. I'm not going to hold your hand and go, oh, oh, oh. If you cry to me, I'm going to try to solve your problems. Nip it in the butt. Otherwise, put an egg in your shoe and beat it. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Make like a tree and leave. <laughs> hey, that's a good way to fire people. Just put a can of beets on their desk. Beat it. We're on a Volunteer roll. Osprey Watchers. I've identified 534 active nests in 2015. Active nests. More than any year since before the species numbers started to decline. The pairs using those nests successfully bred 737 young, maintaining a population growth rate of about 10% since 2009, according to the study. Produced by the nonprofit Conserve Wildlife Foundation of New Jersey and the State Division of Fish and Wildlife. You know, the bald eagle population in New Jersey right. has grown tremendously. We have them in, uh, in they've been seen in Bergen County by, by us. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. I know we have the red tail hawks that I see. I see across the street from my house. Actually, um, maybe that's why all the, the screwy wabbits and the squirrels uh, haven't been uh -huh. <laughs> around lately. They've been picked off, man. Maybe, maybe they've been picked off, yeah. Volunteers were able to band 532 of the young ones so they can be tracked. The population growth has not been by leaps and bounds, but we are definitely going to see them continue to grow. Oh, that's good. I always am. Ha I'm always happy when any creature that's endangered makes a comeback with our help because their demise is caused by humans. So when humans help. To help to make them, you know, um, uh, survive and uh, uh, do a comeback. I'm very happy about that. So I am beginning to believe that reincarnation is probable. Reincarnation, since we are bombarded with pictures and accounts of our Governor Christie and his newfound cohort, Donald Trump. Is his, uh, yeah, his new buddy. I think we should welcome back Abbott and Costello. Uh, yeah, but maybe. Hey, or, Abbott! Or, well, or Laurel and Hardy. But he looks, he he has more of a Costello look. Give me two cents for a five. Then I uh, remember when Mr. Bachigaloop. Bachigaloop. He says, uh, Lou wanted, um, three bananas. Three bananas. And and he, one, and a banana. he, one a banana, two banana, and he put them together, three bananas. Three bananas, there you go. And Costello says, wait a minute, I got two bananas. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> you remember that episode, huh? <laughs> I saw somebody put up the, uh, the one about Meat, the... Meatballs? No, oh. uh, uh, Susquehanna Hat Company? Give me five dollars, uh, no, give me, give me two tens for five. And <laughs> Costello did it. <laughs> In other words, he said it fast. Yeah, and he gives them to him, and then he turns around and then he thinks about it and says, "Wait a minute, you know." Of course, the big difference is Abbott and Costello were funny and acted as con man and buffoon. Christie and Trump aren't acting, and either role could be interchangeable. Abbott and Costello did not speak with venom in their voices and were not mean-spirited. Anyone can see why Christie is supporting Trump all in due time. Yeah, and uh, um, another, th another person that is not held accountable for, in my opinion, um, I I'm suspicious that it might be uh, uh, a, a right-wing attempt, uh, 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 
with uh, racial genocide uh, in Flint, Michigan. The water poisoning, you know. Um, uh, uh, when you think about it, stuff like that is usually not due to something like that. It's due to money. Like that's what it always. You goes mean back like to. like like uh, a company that had toxins that didn't want to spend the the uh, more money to properly dispose of their waste, and they paid somebody off and they just dumped it. And in the first, yeah. the first po the first uh, place. It was cheaper to get water the way they did with the lead than before. So isn't that was part of it too. Isn't but that, it's usually money. Isn't that uh, how General Electric years ago was allowed to dump PCBs, PCBs in, the, yeah, Hudson in the Hudson River? Yeah. Because it's easier to just dump it than to properly dispose of toxic waste. Love Canal. <laughs> Love. You know, etc. Yeah. I hear, I hear the nuclear power plant that take, supplies New York City has been leaking radiation. Uh, our Fukushima. The U.S. Fukushima. Yeah. And it had to go be in our region. Well, of course. It's, hey, it's only a few, what, 10 or 20 miles away. Why couldn't, why couldn't, it, couldn't it be where there's a lot of uh, teabaggers and uh, uh, evangelicals and right-wing voters? Why did it have to be in the uh, the blue state of uh, New York? Yeah, well, I don't know how blue. Sometimes um, I wonder how blue the uh, the Northeast is after what happened in Massachusetts. That's correct. With the primary and New Jersey with Mr. Governor Hunt Christie. They reelected him. Yeah. They complain about him all the time, but they reelected Chris Christie. Yeah. So. What else can you say about Governor Christie? That hasn't been said before. <laughs> I can happily say that I never voted for him. Neither have I. He is demonstrating all the personal and political shortcomings his opponents claim that he possessed. A narcissistic bully whose sole purpose is to further his own career. When his campaign for presidency bit the dust, he hooked himself onto Donald Trump's bandwagon. Mm -hmm. and decided to become his lackey. Donald Trump is a narcissistic bully. Yeah. They, yeah. You know, two, two birds so is of Rubio. A, two birds of a feather. Oh, Rubio? Except the Rubio's got a little boyish look to him. Yeah, so he's... He's still the same thing. Every, every, every phrase out of his mouth is, when I'm president. When I'm when, president. When I, I am president. My, my, my uh, 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 hey, little Marco, you're never going to be president. Well, okay. well, Miami Cubans um, are very, um, I was told by people who live in South Florida, they do a lot of complaining. <laughs> wow. They bitch and moan all the time, and they're very, all right, you got a problem with the Castro regime, you know, but know your definitions, know your political definitions. The Castro's like um, the late Hugo Chavez and the Soviet Union, they're totalitarian, like, military dictatorships. They're not real socialist, social, it's not real socialism and communism. Yes, do not confuse socialism with these things. Yeah, yeah. Always remember, as I try to make people remember, there's another word for socialism. It's called utopia. Yes, yeah, utopia. It's, it's called about yeah, like uh, okay, you know, Hillary Clinton likes to say, "Well, we're not Sweden." Well, uh, you're damn right, we're not Sweden. Exactly. They, ca they care about their people. Exactly. Maybe we should be a little more like Sweden, you know? In Norway, who who wants to pay its people a base salary of like 800 euros a, a month, uh -huh. a base, you know. Um, it might come to that if the job market gets worse, you know. New Jersey has always been a state subject to much ridicule from elsewhere. Could this be the reason Christie tries not to stay in the state too long? <laughs> when I saw Christie stand next to Donald Trump on Tuesday night, I thought he looked like he might have had buyer's remorse. He looked like he was going to faint. He was staring at him with evil eyes. He, uh, he looked confused. 
he, he, like he had a stroke. I don't know. Somebody. I, I, there was an article that um, Donald Trump made a statement on on Twitter that was not very nice, mm. complimentary towards Chris Christie. I never got to read it, but. Actor Alec Baldwin says that Trump next season, next reason season, excuse me, will be a new reality show on television. Hopefully, Christie also will be looking for a new job. You know, Christie will get a get his own show on on let's say Fox, guaranteed. With his personality, could be. You know, and he's got that. Um, you know the the old J. P. Morgan uh, drawings from the yeah. Industrial Revolution. He was fat with a, fat with a, with a top hat on, in his mouth. and he's holding the big bag of money. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's that's like that's like Christie, like a, like a fat Monopoly man. You know. All right, we're gonna take a, a very lunch. Very mean Monopoly man. Very mean Monopoly man. Yeah. Um, now. We're going to take a lunch break, and if everything goes right with our te technical crew, you you will hear our commercial voice over artist William Hamilton Morrow III to promo Bill Morrow. If it doesn't, you won't, but hopefully it'll work out. I got a good lunch to chomp down on, too. I made I made a curried egg salad with the um, Himalayan pink salt and other things. <laughs>